Hello everybody, welcome back to Tunes Reviews. Today, my video is dedicated to a very special friend of mine. Um, so this is a happy belated birthday to my very good friend, Rush. Um, happy anniversary. Um, I wish you and Alan all the best in your marriage and in your love. And uh, happy speedy recovery for everything that's going on with you because I know that you're able to get to the doctors and figure all that stuff out and be on your way to a healthy and um, wonderful uh, recovery. That being said, what do I think of when I think of Mr. Rush, my, my, uh, my cheerleader? <laughs> he's, a, he's, a big, um, he's a big inspiration. He's very optimistic. He's very um, clear cut, tell it like it is, but no bullshit when it comes to pinpointing what it is that you are or are not good at. And he has been an advocate for trying to help me succeed in the film industry. And I really, really, I can't say enough about Rush. I can't wait to meet you. Um, I can't wait to have more phone conversations. I can't wait to uh, hopefully get the show on the road with um, our friendship kicking off more in person since we only live four hours away. Um, <laughs> not even actually, I think about three and a half. But either way, uh, I hope you are all doing well out there. I hope that, you know, everybody is happy and healthy and making the best of a shitty situation that we've been in now for months and months. And obviously that's only referring to COVID-19. Um, obviously, again, I will, you know, remind everybody that black lives still matter. Um, it is not a fad. It is not something to be taken lightly. So we need to keep um, utilizing our voices for making sure that everybody is treated equally. So that being said, I hope you all are doing okay, that you're happy, that you're healthy. And I hope that you're excited for me to share with you a fragrance that actually kind of reminds me of Mr. Rushter. First and foremost, my fragrance of the day is Kieran's 10 a.m. Flirt. So I'm actually not wearing the fragrance that I will be reviewing today as it's a little too hot, but a little refresher there, Kieran 10 a.m. Flirt. This, this fragrance um, and the style, this very Andy Warhol, uh, pop culture, um, kind of in your face, almost like, uh, hmm, I'm not sure how I would put it, but it's it's very poppy, it's very, it's very artistic, um, and it reminds me of Rush a little bit, as well as this fragrance that I will be talking about today that I'm sure a lot of my old subscribers are probably wondering why the hell I haven't ever covered and why I haven't discussed like the beauty that is this fragrance, the masterpiece that is this concoction here. Serge Luton's Shirgi. Now, honest to God, if you were to ask me, okay, and after this, I will get off the 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 rush um, talk for a few minutes. But if you were to ask me which three fragrances I thought suited him best, okay, three just because I think a normal wardrobe for most men is about two to three. Um, I think most people don't really go uh, over the top the way that we do. This would be one of them. I I, I would guess that this kind of fragrance is what he would be most attracted to. Um, an oriental spicy, um, something with some pizzazz, a little bit of class to it. And this is probably one of the greatest choices that you could have in your wardrobe, in your arsenal, for a classy, uh, sophisticated event. Now for me, I found out about Shergi about 10 years ago. Um, this fragrance was a bit of it was one of those that was talked about heavily in the fragrance community. It was one that was of the likes of pure malt and tobacco vanille and muscravageur. It was a hype train. It was something that everybody jumped on the bandwagon for, and for good reason. It stands the test of time. For a fragrance that was introduced so long ago, Shergi um, retains its modern quality. It has a sophistication that is undeniable. It has a sexiness that is undeniable. The fragrance is essentially composed of a very powdery pipe tobacco with um, an exorbitant amount of honey. 
This fragrance, if I was to describe in one word, it would be uh, sticky. It's very sticky. It's um, honey drizzled, wet, sticky pipe tobacco with like a little of that baby powder cleanliness going on in the background. Now for me, this fragrance is very linear. Um, when I first apply it, it's kind of an overdose of a bit of a uh, cloud, actually, I would say. It was a bit of a cloud of powder. And then about after five to 10 minutes, it kind of settles into a very sweet, refined, sophisticated, a bit spicy, uh, honeyed pipe tobacco. And I absolutely cannot get enough of this fragrance. Now for me, this fragrance is most suitable for the fall. This screams fall. If there ever was a fragrance that screamed fall, this is it. This has a lot of things going on for it. Um, it is something that represents like hay rides for me. Never mind the fact that hay is an actual note in the fragrance uh, note breakdown, but it reminds me of Halloween. It reminds me of um, going, you know, pumpkin into a pumpkin uh, patch or, you know, apple picking. It has that vibe to it. It has that fun, family friendly, um, kind of adventurous, but in a sophisticated way, uh, fall vibe going on for it. And I'm not sure if there's any better picture that I could paint for you other than if you were to apply this fragrance and to go uh, with your lover and just hold hands as you're sipping some delicious hot apple cider, walking through a forest with the leaves kind of falling down and you can hear the crunch between your uh, between your feet and the ground as you're stepping on the leaves with your little flannel on and all that stuff. So it, it screams fall for me, 100%. I absolutely adore fall. It's my favorite time of the year. Um, so of course I'm drawn to these kinds of fragrances. I'm drawn to that kind of vibe and that kind of uh, scenery that's depicted from a fragrance. But all that being said, um, there's something very special about this fragrance. Aside from the fact that I would adore it, whether or not there was a nostalgic value for me, um, which lies in the fragrance community itself. This fragrance was one of the first ones that was ever hyped when I first started. It is one that I found um, all of the people that I was kind of looking to for advice and help on how to uh, conduct myself and how to create a channel and how to properly um, make, it, like, make it so that my fragrance videos were going in a concise way. Um, it's something that reminds me of people like, I'm sure most of you won't remember these guys, Teresa, Brandon, uh, John Pegg, when he was reviewing, uh, Dan, my makers, Dan Mish. Um, this fragrance reminds me of those guys, along with, you know, Mark and, and getting started on this journey with a bunch of fellows uh, and, and females, <laughs> a bunch of wonderful people that um, just wanted to see each other succeed and, and share this interesting um, oddball hobby with. And... Um, Another person that it heavily reminded me of is a, a friend named Patrick, who uh, was one of my favorite reviewers. He's only reviewed very little, but you know, Cubby, all these, all these guys, right? So it reminds me very much of um, the fragrance community when it first started and what it means to be a part of that family. So perfect scenario for you. Um, all the people that I just mentioned, essentially, everyone that was um, initially in Frycom that I've known for 10 plus years of my life, including, unfortunately, the ones that we have lost, and um, gathering us all together and having us go on a hayride together, you know, and spending a whole day together in the fall. That's, that's essentially what this is for me. It is, I get to go down a trip um, of memories and enjoy everything that I've become in the last 10 years, not just via YouTube, but also my, my personal journey, because this has been something that I have literally had since I was 19 years old and I'm 29 now. So um, this is my second bottle of Shergi. Uh This will retail you 
Um, I think about $150 to $170 American, but you can get it on places like Fragrance X and Fragrance Net for anywhere between $70 and $100. Um, very, very decently priced. Serge Luton's in general is something that should be revered as uh, aristocratic perfumery. It is uh, artistry. It is um, profound <laughs> in my mind. It is profound perfumery, okay? Serge Luton's. And his concoctions are absolutely astonishing. And this is no slouch. This is something that's going to go down in the history of, um, you know, fragrances that, that has created a name for itself and created um, more love for a particular category of fragrance, too. I think, I think a lot of people use this as a gateway into oriental or tobacco-based fragrances because it's so mild and well-composed and um, mild-mannered, but yet it's sexy and alluring. So um, if it is something that you are looking for, a fragrance that screams refined sophistication and sexiness, it's not loud, it doesn't beg for attention. Um, if you're looking for something like that, I would look no further than Serge Luton Shrigui. I hope you all enjoyed. I cannot wait to talk to you guys more about fragrances now that I'm all settled into my new place. I hope you all wish Mr. Rush Durr well and uh, wished him a happy birthday, etc. And I will talk to you all soon. Stay well, stay healthy. Bye, everyone.